five minutes to improve your golf. And we have today Sean Clement. And Sean Clement is one of the very best coaches in North America. And in our opinion, he's one of the inspirational leaders in golf instruction. And he's going to help you improve your swing in just five minutes. It sounds quite a big task, but I promise you, he's going to do it. Maybe you're less. Yeah, right on. There we go. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate that intro introduction. Um, so, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Home Hardware and get one of these called a Grass Whip. It's in the catalog. They, they're going to order it because it looks a little aggressive. And they won't let this hang around the store for, for kids to play around in. And it's $15.95. It's a very worthwhile investment. So, if I was cutting grass 80 years ago in my backyard, I would use this tool in both directions to cut the grass. Now, if you're able to cut the grass in both directions, then you're basically in a great position to swing a golf club. So, if I'm cutting grass, when I get my posture, I'm bending forward from the hips. You'll feel a rearward protrusion of your posterior. You'll feel that your chest is more over the ground, and you're now in a great position to cut grass. Now, if you take it back in the wrong position, well, you're not getting your job done, are you? So, you're going to feel the arms swing away and up. Everything that goes up must come down. If it's not coming down, it means it's not going up enough. Cut. Fall cut. Fall cut. And let it allow it to levitate up. So, a golf ball, in essence, is like a dandelion in disguise. I've got four golf balls lined up here with the tee, so all I'm focused on is letting the grass whip cut through the tee. Cut. 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 So notice I'm just cutting through the tee portion and the, the, da the, the dandelion, the bulb of the dandelion is being spared. So now, a golf club is first and foremost designed to cut grass. If you keep an eye, let's say, on a ping golf club, you'll notice there's a little notch in the hosel. Well, when that patent runs out, you're going to see a bunch of other manufacturers going to that little notch in the hosel because now the, the ping club can cut grass from heel to toe. So if that golf club suits you, well, you've got an added advantage on that. Now, if I'm swinging back and through without stopping, and I feel the sole of the club cut the grass in each direction, well, you'll notice I'm on plane. If I swing too far inside, I will not be able to cut grass on that direction. If I swing too far outside, now I'm cutting grass in a direction that's not appropriate. I want to feel like I can cut grass in each direction. So now, I feel the sole of the club cutting grass along the ground. So now I'm going to let it cut through the dandelion. So just cutting dandelions in my backyard using my grass cutting device. So when you get on the golf course or on the range, you're setting up to a golf ball and your eyes are on the ball and you see a golf ball, you're going to have a little trouble. Here's the ground. Here's the grass growing out of the ground. Here's the ball sitting on top of the grass. Here's you looking at the ball. Well, you actually have to come up to hit the ball. But if, you're, if your focus stays on the sole of the club cutting grass, now if you cut grass with the sole of the club, the ball will meet the face of the club. So when I look down at this golf ball, I see a dandelion stem. I see that the sole of the club is in a perfect position to cut through that stem. What does it feel like when you're cutting through with ease? So I want a nice velocity and a very easy swing to cut through that dandelion stem. So now, cut through the dandelion stem, ball meets center of club face, and there goes the golf ball soaring through the air. So this will improve not only your ball striking, it'll improve your focus, it'll improve the continuity because when you're focusing on cutting through something, the brain now identifies a continuous motion. So you're going to get a much better follow-through as well. So things improve dramatically when you've got the right focus. So that's going to really eradicate that mindset that people have about hitting 
at the ball. Correct. Which is so destructive, you just pointed out. That's right. So when the ball is your target, it's an automatic over the top. If you've heard that term before, when I'm cutting through a dandelion stem, if you look at it in slow motion, this is me cutting across the turf through a dandelion stem. This is me getting ready to hit a golf ball. This is me hitting a golf ball, so at a dress, I'm going to tend to pick it up, and then I'm going to force the club down toward the ground. So I'm going to stick it in the ground. I'm going to do a lot of topping. If I'm trying to lift the ball in the air, my attention, again, is on the ball. I'm trying to do something with the golf ball. The result of a good focus of a nice throughward cut will put the ball in the club face, and that's where you'll have these beautiful soaring golf shots. Excellent. So... Basically, you need to go out and find some dandelions, right? That's it. Yeah. Plenty of those right now. So swing through the ball, or swing through the dandelion. This Get one. yourself one of these, because it is a very useful tool. And how much are they? Not expensive, right? $15.95. There you go. This is going to be a lot more effective than a new driver, I assure you. Less than a cheap dozen golf balls. That's it. So <laughs> that's brilliant. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how much that is going to help you. So get out in your back garden, in your yard, find some dandelions and just swing through. Brilliant. Thanks ever so much, Sean. Pleasure, Thank Alex. You. Thank you.